What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. Let's talk about my dividend portfolio. I've been going all in on my dividend portfolio for, I don't know, about two weeks now. Maybe it's a little bit less than that, but I've definitely been making some moves. It seems like every day I'm putting more money and more money into the dividend portfolio. As I have anything free, I want to throw it in there because I feel like it's a way to get excited about what you're gaining, right? Because I can gain an extra thousand and just throw it back in there. I can gain an extra hundred and throw it back in there. I can gain an extra, you know, whatever the amount and just throw it back into my dividend portfolio and be able to just consistently gain more. And it makes me really, really excited to see that because even as you saw, I gained 22 cents and I was super excited um, about gaining 22 cents, even though that's a minuscule amount. But it's my first dividend that I received within this portfolio. And yes, I've received dividends before, but I think Robinhood just makes it more of a spectacle when you receive a dividend, right? So let's talk about this dividend portfolio. I made two new purchases, two new buys, uh, as I had a little bit more money that I put into the account. And uh, I can't wait until we have next month um, or whenever we receive dividends from certain places like SPHD or any of these new buys, I feel as though it's going to be really, really good for, for me and for the viewers for, for, um, more videos, more content, but guys, if you want to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also make sure you check out any of the links that I do have below. One of those links being for, um, you know, Robin hood. If you guys want to sign up for yourself and get a free stock worth all the way up to $200, typically you're going to get one that's worth $5. But there's always a chance you can get one that's worth 10, always a chance that you can get one that's worth 200. So it's like a one in a hundred chance to get one that's worth $10 and one in a thousand chance to get uh, one that's worth $200. So honestly, it's better than playing the lottery and you get something that you're holding for a long period of time. So if you're up to it, use that link down in the description, sign up for Robinhood and be uh, a part of it over here to where you get that free stock and maybe offer your link to some other people as well. So anyways, let's talk about this because my dividend portfolio, I feel great about it so far. And I think we're going to continue to do these and make these investments. And I think we have to focus on like what we want to really see, whether we want to see like uh, high dividend ETFs or reinvesting into things that are all encompassing rather than just individual positions, individual companies. I think we're going to go more of the ETF route because I feel like it's just a little bit safer. If you are putting money in there for a long period of time, you want to go with kind of that ETF route and be able to have something that pays a decent dividend, maybe a 30 day yield and uh, have something that comes through consistently, right? Not just like every quarter or anything like that. You're getting it consistently you know, throughout time. However, I still will invest in individual companies like Microsoft and Walmart and Nike and, and, you know, kind of other ones that can grow and have a high amount of growth as well as pay a dividend in return. So this is what my portfolio looks like and I'll go through what the two new buys are. So currently I stand with, uh, you know, the O shares. So I've, well, sorry, I have $769 and 24 cents. If I wanted to just start there, $769 and 24 cents, it is up $2 and 92 cents, um, on today. Um, but if we go through my individual shares, my individual positions, I have two shares of O at $45. I have uh, 0.1 shares of Microsoft, which is at $334, but I have less than that, obviously. I have 0.1. SPHD, I have five. Walmart, I have one. Nike, I have one share. And, you know, that's sitting at $100, $161, $37 there. And then the two new positions that I purchased was um, PRF and SPYD. And uh, SPYD, um, these both are higher dividend um, ETFs that you can receive. So you're getting a 30 day yield and whatever the 30 day yield is, which we will go through in this uh, video. Um, it's only $30 and 58 cents right now. Um, with three shares and SPHD, you see it at three shares at $33 and eight cents. So if I go into, um, you know, S wait, what is it? P PRF, sorry. If I go into PRF uh, and scroll down and find the dividend yield, 
Uh, it's going to give me the dividend yield of 2.1 um, if we're looking at the 30-day uh, dividend yield there. Now, I the reason why I went into this was because I saw it. I like to look up things and see what the highest dividend uh, yields you can get, as well as just seeing some positions that um, have had consistent growth. I don't want just like high dividends. I, I want to know you know, if we look over the last five years, has it grown since the last five years? If we look over the last year, what are we seeing there? Are we at a lower point where I can invest in that lower point? If we look at the last year to date, are we at a lower point so I can invest in that lower point? And also, are we seeing consistency? Because as we look through this, I want to see what that percentage is changing like. So today it's up point uh, or sorry, 0.6% uh, over the week. It's uh, down about 2% over the, the month. It's down about 3.45% over the year. It's down 10%. And then over the year to date, we're still looking at it sort of flat. Yes, it's down 2%, but we're seeing it sort of flat. But then we look over the year and we see it down 1%. We look over the last five years and it's it's up you know, 8.49%. So if we can see that consistency, a consistency in that growth, even if it does remain flat for a while, it's about how much I'm gaining in those dividends and how much I can reinvest into these plays. That's what it's all about. So I was looking at those um, and basically making that decision based on if I can uh, see an ultimate return in the growth as well as what the dividend does offer. Then we go into SP. YD, um, that sits at uh, 3%, sorry, 8% down for the past five years. Uh, if we look at max, it is up 2.89% overall, um, which is sort of flat. Again, I'm okay with something being flat if it is going to pay a decent dividend and be consistent. So over the last year, you can see that it is down uh, five point, uh, or sorry, six six dollars or 15 percent over the last year over the last day you're seeing it up a little bit uh 0.24 percent over the last week two percent down uh four percent down for the last month uh 14 percent down for the last three months year to date is 16 percent down uh total year is 15 percent five years is eight percent and it starts to go up to plus nine percent for um the last five years or sorry max time that we have seen so hopefully it remains stable. Um, it is at a lower point compared to where this higher point was. So if it continues to grow on that trajectory and finds a way to uh, increase over this point, which is $44, then I have that growth as I continue to invest more into this position. Now the dividend yield on this for the 30 day yield is 5.34. So it is a little bit higher. Uh, which means I gain a little bit more per 30 days. So we'll see how that all plays out and pays out and you know what we can end up getting in return as we look down the next you know five years, 10 years or anything like that. So we'll consistently invest into this play and um, again, see what it could be. Now, um, that's my dividend portfolio and the two things that I bought, but you know, I have a total again of $770 and will consistently invest into you know, some of these dividend plays, whether it is SPHD, whether it is ticker symbol O, or whether we're putting it into something, um, you know, completely different and have new positions that we're putting out there. But I think we want to at least get to 10 uh, for some of these positions and then start making moves in other plays as well. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.